understand what it all has meant in the last year. The pandemic has had a crushing impact on our economy, of course. 712,000 Americans applied for unemployment benefits just last week. Now that is down 42,000 from the previous one. It's also the lowest level since early November. Before the viral outbreak, weekly jobless claims never topped 700,000. Almost 10 million jobs still remain lost to the pandemic. An estimated 20 million people are getting some form of unemployment aid. It is Thursday. That means it's time to get back to work. Our weekly segment to help those looking for a new job. So joining us today is Paul Wolf, the Senior Vice President of Human Resources at Indeed. Let's talk about ghosting, Paul. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Well, yeah. first of all, what is ghosting? A lot of people may not know. Absolutely. Ghosting it originally started in the dating industry. It's where somebody doesn't doesn't respond to somebody during a relationship or when they're starting to date. You know, usually it's via text or through an app where they just go silent on you. So hence the term ghosting. I think in the workplace, it refers to whether the job seeker, the candidate for a job or the employer stops communicating someplace in that interview process for but, a job. But I find that, you know, years ago when I was looking for jobs, the, the one the employer or the potential employer Lawyer, always ghosted. Yeah. So it is an interesting uh, point that you bring up. We refer to this as the black hole, the candidate black hole. And this mm -hmm. is something that at Indeed we've been trying to solve with the clients that we have that use our, our platform and our tools. But this is where, you know, you think about it, you get a lot of job, a lot of applications as a recruiter and you're focused on filling the job for that hiring manager. And then you don't always disposition or let those other candidates know they're not getting a job. That's something that we, we're working to change. And it drives you crazy. And you're like, why is this happening to me? What didn't I do right? What do I need to do right? What, what, you know, what, why Absolutely. didn't they like me? It's about civility, like we should be. Just like we don't want job seekers to be ghosting or candidates to be ghosting employers either. Like just have an honest, transparent conversation. So what do we, what, what can be done? What can be done? Do we just like relax and say, let's move on to the next one? Uh, I think sometimes you have to. I also think ghosting's just become more part of our common vernacular. I think, you know, if you go back five or ten years, it happened, but we really didn't talk about it. Now it's got a term, ghosting, like we talk mm -hmm. about this all the time. So I think employers can focus on it from a job seeker perspective by really staying engaged with the conversation, making sure that they're hitting some touch points through the interview process. You know, one of the things in the survey that we did that we saw, the biggest reason that job seekers ghosted employers was that the compensation wasn't correct for the job. Mm -hmm. There's an easy way to, to solve that problem. And indeed, we post our job, our salary ranges for each job that we're trying to hire for. So we're really transparent about it. And I think you can do that through the conversation as well. So the employers really just need to stay in, in, in touch and, and communicating with the job seeker and really find out what's motivating them. But as a job seeker, is the onus really on them to keep trying to get in touch if nobody's answering back? No, look, it's a two-way street. The, the looking for a job is definitely a two-way street. It's not all about the company. Like, the candidate has a part of this process. And if they are not hearing back, you know, the thing I always say to people at Indeed and, and other uh, HR leaders is the best experience you're going to see from both sides is during the interview process. Mm -hmm. So if they're not communicating with you, this may be a little bit of a flag that if you become an employer of their company, this may be an ongoing problem. And so I think either party has a choice to opt out at any point. What I would just implore people or ask people to do is tell somebody the reason why. To go back to your comment about, you know, then you don't have to think about, yeah. well, why did they stop talking to me? What did I do wrong? And like, just let's stop just talk ghosting about it. altogether. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you, Paul. Paul Wolf <laughs> with so Indeed. Much. Be safe, be well. And if you're looking for work, you can also check out our jobs board at WGNTV.com slash jobs. Boy, you took me right back to the emotions.